in this video of Udemy marketing course, we are going to understand the full settings of YouTube Studio. Yes, guys, YouTube Studio is a very uh, crucial thing. As you know, this is the back end of our channel or you can say the control panel of our channel. And we need to understand it is very important to understand all the settings that the YouTube Studio holds. Right. So let's directly jump into our YouTube platform and learn about how to customize all the settings on YouTube Studio. Right. <music> So guys, as you can see right now, I'm in Google. So let me directly open our YouTube platform. So the YouTube is open now. Let me open it. Yeah. So the YouTube's home section is open now. Now in order to access the settings, obviously we need to go to the YouTube studio first, then we can access the YouTube studio settings, right? So for that, we need to click on this icon. And here we need to click on this YouTube studio, but option. So when we click on YouTube studio option, we'll be land into the dashboard or the backend of our YouTube studio right now in order to access the settings here, we can directly click on settings and there's one more option to access these settings directly. Uh, let me go back to YouTube again. So if I open the YouTube again, and here if I click on the setting and if I go to the settings option over here, here I can see this view advanced settings. Uh, let me go back again here channel status and features. If I click on channel status and features, as you can see, this will directly uh, redirect me to the YouTube dashboard and in the settings option directly. Right now, let me close this and now, once you are here in your YouTube studio, you just need to click on the settings option and here these are the settings or the options which we are going to talk about. The first one is general. In general, we do have only uh, one option that is default unit. So in default unit, whatever the currency you want to set as your channel's default unit, you can set it. In my case, it is USD, US dollar, but uh, you can select any currency as your default unit and when you start uh, earning when you your channel start getting some amount you will see that particular currency in this default unit if you have selected the us dollar you'll be able to see the amount in us dollar if you are selecting any other country's amount or oh, sorry any other country's currency then you will be able to see the amount in that re particular respective currency right now once you are done with this thing, you need to go to channel option and here we do have some basic info, advanced settings and then feature eligibility. We have already talked about the uh, this one. Now let's talk about the basic info. So in basic info, you can set your country of residence. So in which country you are living in, you can set that uh, country over here. So in uh, if it is India, if it is US, United States, whatever the country you are in, you can select it. Right. So in my case, it is India. So I'm selecting the country. Otherwise, you can select the United States or any other country in which you are right now here. You can set the channel keywords. These are not the videos keywords, specific videos keywords. These are for the channel keywords that the people will search in order to find out the channels like you. Right. So this is our channel is based on digital marketing. So obviously I'll be adding some digital marketing related keywords like digital marketing courses, digital marketing free courses, then Google ads are popular. One of the popular uh, course is Google ads and one of the another popular course is Facebook ads, right? So these are the keywords I have added here. And if people search these keywords, there's a chances that my channel will also rank there. Right after this, you just need to hit the save button because uh, hitting the save button is very important. Otherwise these settings will disappear. Now go to advanced settings in advanced settings. We do have few more options. Like the first one is, do you want to set up your channel as made for kids? So right now it is, I want to review this setting for every video, right? This by default, this setting is 
turned on so every time you are uploading your video you need to select that whether this particular video is for made for kids or not right but you can set as default that this channel is made for kids or not but see if it is not made for kids basically if you are not uploading uh, kids content like cartoons animated content so you can go with the no this uh, channel is not made for kids i never upload content that made for kids right and here then we do have google ads account linking so what you can do is you can link your google ads account if in future you want to run uh, your ads basically if you if you want to run ads for your youtube videos right so you need to connect that google ads account so i'm not uh, talking about this right now we'll be talking or we'll be connecting google ads account in future right now automatic caption so in youtube there's a feature called automatic caption where youtube where youtube creates automatic caption for your every videos but if you want to uh, disappear the inappropriate words in your captioning so you can turn this option on otherwise you can turn this option off it is totally up to you then we do have this advertisement settings where you can disable the interest based settings but i recommend you to don't disable interest based settings because if you are uh, turning off or disabling the interest based settings you will see drastic decreasement in your youtube earning or whenever you will start earning right so i recommend you to don't disable or don't you uh, check this box because obviously interest based settings is good as an advertiser if people are seeing ads on their interest or people are seeing ads based on their interest so it is good it is uh, highly valuable ads and obviously uh, there are many ch chances or high chances that they will click on that particular ad and obviously as a publisher you will also get some amount of that click right so don't turn this option off or on now in clips option there is a recently released feature that clips youtube allows users or viewers to create clips and if you don't want your viewers to clip your content you can turn this option on but by default you can turn this option on and there's no need to turn this option off if there's no any specific reason for that right now hit the save button the settings has been saved now let me go back here and now feature eligibility i have already talked about feature eligibility where when you create your uh, channel your youtube channel you get these standard features for free obviously all features are free you know don't need to pay any single penny but still when you create your youtube channel you get these features standard features and after some verification like mobile phone verification mobile number verification you get these intermediate features like videos longer than 15 minutes custom thumbnail live stream and all and here then we do have advanced features after completing these video verification valid id or channel history verification and all you get these advanced features as well right i hope you got the point and this is all about the channel settings then if we go to upload defaults i've already talked about upload defa defaults but still uh, let me explain you once again this is basically the default settings of your video uploadings right so whenever you are uploading your video there are some default settings we need which you don't want to uh, change in every video right so what you can do is you can set those settings by default and you don't need to customize those settings every time whenever you are uploading your video whether it is on a regular basis whether it is on a one video in a two or uh, maybe you are uploading two video in one day right you can set these default settings like title if you want to add some default uh, words default letters default content on your in every video so you can add that content over here like i have added marketing pandas global which is the default thing or the default word in my title right then in the description part these are the contact information are the defaults and the hashtags are default uh, content in my description part and in the visibility then the tags right so obviously every video has different tags but there are some uh, default or you can say the universal tags which i add in every video so i've added those tags over here like digital marketing or marketing funders global right 
Now in advanced settings, same thing uh, also here is the upload default settings over here as well, like automatic chapters where you get this allow automatic chapters and key moments. So you don't need to turn this option off. You can turn this option on. And then license, obviously you get two options, standard license where you have the authority of your content. And if you go with uh, creative commons, then everyone can use your content, right? Then category. So these are all the default settings. If you want to change it, you can change it. Otherwise you can leave it as it is, right? Now, if we go to permissions, Basically, you can add some extra users who can maintain your channel, right? So as you can see, there's one email ID over here who has the ownership of this channel. Now, what you can do is you can invite some other uh, people as well, like demo at the rate gmail.com. And here you can select the access that whatever the access you want to give to that particular user manager editor editor with limited options or limited settings then subtitle editor viewer or viewer with limited settings right so these are the uh, roles you can define over here let's say i want to select manager and here let me change the email id it's not taking this this is the email id i'm choosing Right now, if I hit the done button they on the other side will receive a invitation and if they accept that invitation, they will be able to uh, become the manner manager of this channel, right? This is how you can uh, assign some extra roles in your channel. Now in the community section where you can create the community. So what is this community thing where you can create the manager? Sorry, not managers moderators then standard moderators they are something different thing right like managing my moderators then standard moderators then approved user then hidden users right so all of these makes a community so what are the role of these moderators basically they can manage the comments they can delete the comments they can stop any user to do some appropriate activity or unappropriate uh, engagement with your content or with your channel right so what do you need to do is you just need to paste the URL of their channel whom you want to assign as a managing moderators, right? So this is mainly for the live streamers who live stream on a regular basis because in live streaming, you can't delete the comments or you can't hold the comments on a real time basis. So their moderators are very important to handle all these things, right? So same goes with standard moderators. And if you don't know the difference between moderators, you can hover your cursor over here and you will be see, able to see the difference between managing moderators and standard moderators. As you can see, if I click on uh, hover my cursor over here on managing moderators, this says that these users have the same cap capabilities as standard moderators, but in addition, they can manage blocked words and change chat modes in live, right? And in stranded moderators, if I hover my cursor over here, these users can remove comments which will appear in your held for review page and can also moderate your live chat messages, right? So I've already told you about this. Then approved user. Approved user are the users who can comment anything and there will be no hold in their comments. So if you have faith on those users or if you have the trustful users, you can add those users over here, right? You just need to paste the URL of their channel. The process is the same. And then the hidden users. If the users or the users who comments inappropriate words or who are the haters of your channel, who are the haters of you, you can hide those users by adding their channels URL over here, right? So these are the uh, automated filters option where these options will help you to do some filtering then in live redirects we do have some extra options like if your live is going on and if other uh, users or other youtubers want to redirect their user to your live stream then you can select this option also this option is also for the same thing but 
for that you need to subscribe their channel right if you have subscribed their channel then only they'll be able to send their users to your live stream and if you select this option then the uh, any channel on the youtube will be able to redirect their user to your channel right so this is how the feature of live redirect is right youtube provides you to uh, basically redirect the user of any another youtube channel to your youtube channel right then blocked words where you can add the inappropriate words specifically which you know let's say cat is a uh, inappropriate word in my uh, dictionary let's say right so what i will be doing is i'll be adding the cat word as an inappropriate or the block words and whenever the user comments this word the comment will be blocked or uh, hold for the review right and then you can add some block links as well right basically you can directly if the user is adding the link in your comments the comments will be blocked right so these are the settings then we do have default options same goes with the in communities we do have some default options as well like uh, comments on your channel and the messages on in your live chat right so if you want to hold the inappropriate words inappropriate messages you can turn this option on and same goes with the comments on your channel as well right now everything is done just hit the save button we do have last agreements option so in agreements we'll be seeing everything is empty because this is the totally new channel but when the channel gets monetized youtube will send us an agreement of adsense that we are agreed to their terms and conditions and all and that particular agreement will be shown here so we need to sign that agreement and send to youtube basically we need to accept that agreement before uh, start getting earning through adsense right and that particular agreement will show here for the lifetime right i hope you understood all the settings and it is very important to understand all the settings and the thing is these are not so difficult or there's no any rocket science to under, under, understand these settings right now if this video was helpful for you don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button also let's wrap up this video here i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye